Uh, hi, my name is Jeo Son and I am PhD student and lab manager currently in Frontin Engineering Laboratory. Uh, before starting the presentation, uh, it is a great pleasure to have opportunity to introduce our lab and for all of you. Uh, we belong to Protein Engineering Laboratory and our advisory professor is Prof. Kijun Jung. Today, we are going to introduce your, you about our lab and our lab is specialized in protein engineering and we are going to get started by knowing what protein engineering is. Uh, protein engineering is a process developing proteins uh, to obtain desired properties through genetic mod modification. Uh, through genetic mo manipulation, uh, we can change the properties of proteins such as stronger or more active and more stable or more soluble uh, or more intensive. Uh, these engineered proteins can be applied in numerous areas uh, such as pharmaceuticals, diagnosis or chemical industry. So we can supply various carbon and energy sources uh, to microorganisms uh, such as glucose, RG, biomass, and organic waste. So through various platform biotechnologies, uh, we can produce various value-added products. Uh, in our lab, uh, first we develop novel types of pharmaceutical antibodies and scaffold proteins uh, from bacteria. Uh, we mainly use E. coli uh, to produce proteins such as human full length IgG, antibody fragments, and scaffold proteins in high level. Uh, bacteria can produce not only recombinant proteins but also many other metabolites. Uh, so, by introducing no, non native or alternative metabolic pathway, uh, we can make microbial cell factories uh, to produce valuable metabolites at various scales. Uh, nowadays, our main item is stomach acid derivatives, uh, which can be used to, to uh, eco-friendly nematocyte, uh, biofuels, and precursors for other flavonoids. Also, we use other bacteria species like Corynebacterium glutamicum uh, for high-level production and secretion of valuable proteins and chemical materials. Uh, Corynebacterium glutamicum is one of the inter industry well-known hosts and has uh, various advantages compared to, to traditionally used hosts such as E. coli. Uh, especially, it has good ability to uh, produce high levels of amino acids and sugars, so we are engineering secretive expressions of them. Uh, cellular engineering is done to produce efficient and functional enzymes. Uh, so by engineering cytochrome, uh, mass production of cytochrome is possible and its activity and radiosensitivity are improved. Uh, enzymes are engineered to, to overproduce uh, biomaterials uh, such, as, uh, various, uh, such as from bi various biomasses. Uh, for example, biopolymers are produced from glucose by engineering enzymes in E. coli. Uh, flow cytometry is a very powerful and sophisticated research tool that allows high surface screening uh, to single cell investigation. Uh, it is extremely effective and there are only four to five in Korea. And in our lab, FAX is used to screen and isolate cells that contain successfully engineered proteins on, on the basis of flow length sense and right scattering properties. Uh, another very essential equipment in PEL is fermenter or bioreactor. Uh, traditional laboratory biology is a small scale operation. However, since we are engineers, uh, it is crucial to scale up the process through bioreactor to demonstrate that our research can apply it industrially. Uh, our lab professor is Ki Jun Jung. Uh, he received his bachelor's and master's and PhD from KAIF and stayed at po as a uh, postdoctoral fellow at University of Texas at Austin. Uh, in 2008, he came back to KAIST as assistant professor. Now he's a professor. And this is memories of our lab, and this is the end of our presentation. Uh, uh, thanks for listening.